Olivares fresh off a clean sheet and the 1-0 victory over Austin makes his fourth start of the year. Compared to last week, Sebastian Joffrey and Damian Barker-John. Barker-John makes his return to the lineup after missing last week's game with an injury. And we're underway from St. Louis. Good to be with you, Josh Appel. Thanks so much for spending part of your Friday night with us. Ball off a set play that kicked around off the turf and the town was able to take advantage. Here's the corner. And it's over everybody's head. Going to chase it down. It was Kinsner, but it a lot of respect between these two coaches and these teams. And that, oh gosh. That, uh, that was a nasty collision. Turned it over. But recovering Iskandarian. And then it's given away by McKay and finished off by John Klein. Or will it count? That remains the call. So it takes the goal off the board. And we remain scoreless in the first six minutes. Talk a lot about already Monarch's performance against the town. Well, we'll have a similar free kick to the one he just had a moment ago. This time he comes to the near side. Jaden Reed gives back into the box. Off the pass from Silly. And it's a throw in for St. Louis. Cross is low, and the 16-year-old McKay is able to handle it. Really happy and proud of the guys for how they perform against Austin. It's always difficult to go in there and win. One of the few places in the league that you'll go where it's a big building out from the back, the high press. Styles make fights. Here's a giveaway in the back, off the post. Monarchs with a huge chance to take the lead, and they couldn't cash in. That's frustration. Almost disastrous. For the home side, for Iskandarian. Alba steps into it and sends it through everybody. And Damian Barker nice John. Defensive work by Alba. He steps up again, and it's taken by Silly. And then Barker John dispossesses him from behind. High energy start at City Park tonight. And we're back to action. This be the chance for St. Louis. Great ball ahead. Oh, and a good tackle from behind. Results in a corner, but a great recovery. To thwart that chance. Klein chases it down in the corner. His cross deflects. Joiner. Low cross, deflects. McSorley. McKay got a piece. Here comes the follow, and it's just over the bar. Cam Silly. We have, uh, I talked to Bobby Murphy a lot about this fan base, this market, and how this club is really trying to yeah, throw in for St. Louis. They've come close twice. Here's Silly. Silly. McKay with a dive to stop that. In two weeks, St. Louis City 2 will head north to the land of 10,000 lakes. He let that pass go, might have a foul over there. Benji Redzich went down. Free kick from not that spot. Monarchs have hit a post tonight. This cross results in a goal kick.
Here comes in swinger near post. Klein got ahead on it and got it away. Redzic. Klein that took a hard hit. And a yellow is given to Bobby Pierre. There was Olivares waiting on it. Reed. Foul. We might get another booking. And we do. There is the final whistle for half number one here at City Park. John Klein gets us started in half number two. Joiner, much like he was in the first half, right on it. Monarchs staying true to their identity. They like to build out from the back, but the pressure. The yellows. Speed by Kuzain to keep it alive. Klein went down. Play rolls on. They wanted a foul. They don't get it. Now it's Jaden Reed. Flicked on McSorley. Third straight game with a goal. It's an early second half breakthrough for the home side St. Louis. An unfortunate bounce. Joiner settles it down. Alba and Amparo watch him. Foul on Joiner as it's given away. Kuzain, McSorley, Klein, and it deflects off of Bobby Pierre for a corner. Happened just that quickly with this team. Here comes the corner, and it's put on frame, but easily handled by William McKay. That almost looked like a handball, too. Let go, Klein, into the box, cleared away. Here it comes, back post. McKay! That's not going to come back for offside. Joyner off the deflection. Oh! Had a little razzle-dazzle with it to fire up the home side. So Makai Joyner scores, Makai Joyner exits. Reed building it up for St. Louis. Reed around the corner. Reed's cross, almost an own goal. This will be an outswinger. Put towards goal, and did that stay out? It did. McKay makes the save and absorbs the hit. McSorley was right in his grill. Room here for Betcher. Looking to cross. Here it comes. Kuzain. Well defended. John 
Tried to get into a dangerous area. Player went down, but in two weeks, St. Louis City 2 heads north to the land of 10,000 lakes for Minnesota. Is this onside? No. Sorely offside again. There's the flag. Let's rewind. That stayed in somehow. Here it comes. Towards the outside. Barker John got ahead on it in front of Silly. A chance maybe potentially building up, but I mean, how about that from behind? Coming up to slow everything down, Michael Venzel. And then forcing the turnover. But a foul. Kinsner got it ahead. Jaden Reed for Klein. Look to overlap with Reed again. And this will be a goal kick. Mark Lowry thinks they'll come. And they're going to get St. Louis for the foul here. And a yellow as well. On. Steps over it. Redzic service in. Nothing there for Real Monarchs. Elijah Paul in for Real Monarchs. Loney from Real Salt Lake. Monarchs trying to threaten again. Will enter. Glover, Academy, Klein. And again, offside. That is the third goal taken away for offside. Caden Glover this time. The culprit. Good ball in. Glover, and it'll be a corner. Towards the back post. Pierre got ahead on it. Flicked back into the penalty area. Cousin. Cousin. Flicks it up. Betcher. Cousin again. And that's away from everybody and a goal kick. Nice. Silly steps in front of it. Betcher. Lost it to Rivera, but Glover! A misplay ends in a goal for the home side. Some insurance courtesy of Caden Glover. Probably one of the easier ones he's ever going to score. Monarchs, unless they come back tonight, will Paul. Good attempt, but a save made by Olivares. He hasn't been all that busy. Real Success that really favors Real Monarchs here in the late goings here as Klein makes it. No, he did not. I was going to say he makes it 3-0, but he put that off the side of the goal, and it'll be a goal kick. Flicked over the bar. Night of frustration continues. Elijah Paul. Bell. Puts on the brakes. Tees it up. And just puts it wide. That kind of night for Real Monarchs. And there it is. Full time from City Park in St. Louis. A dominant effort at home by St. Louis City 2. Come away with the victory.